That mysterious wrong way crash on the freeway, the one in which a mother uh, driving killed eight people, including four children. And this morning, we have the frantic calls made to 911 in the moments before the crash. And we're also learning about a civil suit being filed today. ABC's Andrea Canning has the story. In the moment surrounding the fatal crash, friends and family frantically tried to locate Diane Schuler. I have a family here that thinks that they might have a medical emergency of their sister. There's three kids in the car, five. They're trying to locate her. It's been three months since Diane Schuler drove the wrong way down this New York highway, killing herself and seven others, devastating three families. These 911 calls reveal close friends of the family trying desperately to trace the minivan's whereabouts. From them, we learn that some of Schuler's nieces in the car initially made cell phone contact with their parents. The girls just called in distress. They said that the, the aunt is driving very erratically. We think she's sick, and we're, we're trying to locate the kids. Little did they know that by the time they had made these calls, it's believed the crash had already happened. Today is three months since my family was killed. Michael Bastardi lost his father and brother in the crash. He's planning a civil suit and he wants a grand jury to determine if anyone in addition to Diane Schuler was responsible. If the grand jury determines that uh, alcohol was provided to this deceased Diane Schuler, that the persons doing that or give it, giving it to her would be accessories, in my opinion, to the commission of the crime of homicide. Diane Schuler's husband Daniel still maintains his wife was not drunk, despite the toxicology report showing she had the equivalent of 10 drinks. He declined to comment to ABC on any potential lawsuits. As for the 911 calls, Bistardi says they haven't brought him any closer to finding out what happened that day. I have more questions now than I did when this happened. Questions that could go on for years. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York.